Okay, starting this weekend, this week's vlog out of sequence. Uh, it's Friday morning. This vlog is going to come out at 5 p.m. tonight. I'm going to move them to 5 p.m. because uh, the YouTube lied to me, I think. 5 o'clock videos do way better in the first 24 hours than 12 o'clock videos, even though that's what blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, the other thing is we have a sponsor this week, and it is Into the AM. They sent me these sweet shirts. Um, dude. Okay, so you know I like crazy shirts. I do, I, I love them. I've been collecting t-shirts for a long time. And usually, uh, you know, you'll, you'll go on Facebook or whatever and you'll see a cool shirt and you'll get it and it'll be garbage. Um, like, it'll feel terrible. But it'll look cool, but it'll feel terrible. Not these, man. These are really good. Um, they feel awesome. They sent me three of them to try. Um, you see me wear the Stay Inspired shirt, I think, in this video. You see me wear this one. Um, and then I've got another one I haven't even worn yet. So. Uh, Check them out. Link is in the description. I think you get a discount if you if you use that link, and it does help out the channel. Support the businesses that support Dylan Talks Tone. I would really appreciate it. Uh, now we're going to go to Harbor Freight to buy a rasp to fix a problem that you're going to see in this video later on. All right. So I have painstakingly gone through the Facebook group our Dylan Talks Tone Facebook page. Make sure you join those, uh, as well as the post we made on YouTube to try to choose the color for the next telly that we're gonna build. I've painstakingly gone through this technically with hash marks, and by one vote, uh, Shoreline Gold wins it over Fiesta Red, 24 to 23. It was close, uh, and I did not even put like a tie-breaking vote in of my own. I really want a gold one. So, I guess it's going to be gold. I'm going to go ahead and order the parts now. And uh, this guitar actually might be built by the time you see this video because of the way we're going to do it. But you're also going to see the unboxing of all the parts in this video. So, it's going to be kind of a weird one. We'll see what happens. Well, today's going to be a fun day because in a little bit, we are going to go shoot demo videos for our P90s. And maybe for our strap pickups too. I don't know if I'm going to get them both done in one day. Uh, a couple of guitar players that are close to me that are really good so uh, that's gonna be fun first we have to do the every few days necessary thing dump sewer tanks part of living in an RV is you put the money in the front and it comes out the back whether it's that pipe or it's that pipe money just pours out of these two this is how it works <laughs> So I got a bunch of orders going out today. Um, load of pit guard, pickups, 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 pickups. Australia, Canada, England, Oklahoma, somewhere. Anyway, uh, the, the box of interest though is this one. Because in here is my Helix HX Stomp. I sold it because I have <laughs> a surprise or three coming later this week. This blog will be, vlog will be very boring if stuff doesn't show up the way it's supposed to show up because I'm really banking on it showing up and being like the cool finale to this video. Um, I got a bunch of stuff coming, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. The package that I thought was going to come, that was going to completely save the vlog for the week, did not come. However, this other one did, and I'm really excited about it because I think... Okay, so I have some pickup development stuff that I need to do. Um some testing that I need to do and I need another telly. So if you'll remember, I put a bunch of surveys like on YouTube and on the Facebook page and stuff to pick a color for a telly. And I went ahead and ordered all the parts. That's what I did the other day and they just came in. So let's unbox them. And we have a live stream to do at five o'clock, the normal live stream. So we'll probably talk about that then too. It's kind of bummed out that the other package didn't come. All right. I 
normally, this is not where I usually get my stuff for guitar builds, but in the time that I had, I figured it would be okay. So we've got a nut. Um, that's for something else. We got a neck plate for our telly. We got some knobs. We got some strap pins. Um, I got some push pull pots because I want to do some fun stuff. A couple of videos. Um, a stereo output jack, but that's for something else. Um, there's your control plate for your telly. Um, some telly neck pickup covers for inventory. That's just normal inventory stuff for work. Mm -hmm. This should be the neck. Again, this is not my normal neck that I normally use for my builds, but it is a nice one. These are really nice. Um, and of course, when I'm done with it, I'm sure I will end up selling it to one of you. So I will not put anything together that I wouldn't normally put my name on, you know? So this is actually pre-finished and everything. And this thing is pretty. This is actually a vintage tint pre-finished. I don't usually do this, but time's of the essence. Uh, it's like we got one high fret we gotta fix. So we'll probably do that in a video. And let me get to the video portion of this in a minute, what we're gonna do. And tell me if you want to participate. That's actually a really pretty fretboard. All right. We did a parchment pick guard, so not parchment, but it's it's not white. I didn't want white. I don't like white white. Shoreline gold telly. Killer. Killer killer. So here's what I want to do. Uh, it is currently Thursday at 4.15, so we're going to do the live stream here in about 45 minutes, and we'll probably talk about this again. But what I want to do is I think this weekend, so whatever, the date, I'll put it right here. Um, I want to do a live stream where we build this guitar from start to finish. I'm not going to touch anything on it. We're going to do it all live. Um, I wound a bridge pickup for it. I need to wind a neck pickup for it tomorrow uh, real quick so that we have a neck pickup for it. And then I would like to, yeah, put this thing together live. What do you think? Um, I don't haven't picked a time yet. I got to talk to Leslie about what our weekend plans are, but once we figure that out, uh, we'll put a thing on your YouTubes and announce it. And then we'll do a full live stream build of this guitar. And this is going to be my new test telly. At least until I get done with it, tired of it, whatever. And then one of you will end up with it, probably. Uh, we'll sell it to one of you. I won't be able to give it away, but somebody will get a good deal on it for sure. Pretty cool. All right, well, I guess uh, we need to get ready for a live stream. Okay, so for our live stream this weekend... Um, I bought this neck because I want to put this guitar together live on YouTube and the only downside is the tuners that I have in stock for it are the 10 millimeter ones so if you see these they're they're 10 millimeter shaft and I think it's 11 30 seconds if it's incorrect I'll put it on the screen right here there's typically two different styles um, the vintage style where it doesn't have a collar is the smaller one and then these ones are the 10 millimeter ones the, so 10 millimeter um, any modern die cast one and that's what this is so instead of wait for more tuners or do whatever we're just going I went to Harbor Freight I call it the old man store because there's a bunch of grumpy old men in there <clears throat> and I bought this stepless reamer and we're gonna try to not make a mess of this and we're gonna just get these to fit. We'll see what happens.
Thing is, you don't want to go too loose because you, they'll move around in the guitar. So you want them to be right. And you got to go in from both sides. And it's a pre-finished neck too. Okay, that's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this with a sharpie. And now I just know where to stop. This should be a relatively easy situation to fix. If you do this with a regular drill bit, um, you could really run the risk of splitting the neck or having tons of problems with it. So I would not recommend using a regular drill bit because it'll grab and do all kind of weird stuff. That is like perfect. Going super slow on this last one. I've seen people do stuff on these necks where there's a grain, there's a grain that goes through here and there's a little step up right here and you could crack it out right here. So I'm just trying to be a little bit slower here. All right, that's killer. I'll clean up the edges with a razor blade. Fits nice and tight. Awesome. Cool, well that's all I'm gonna do I said I wasn't going to do anything, um, and we're going to do everything else during the live stream this weekend, uh, Friday or Saturday night, uh, Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to build this telly from start to finish, um, at least as much as we can on a live stream. It's going to be an Esquire, so we're going to do a single pickup with a coil split or with a coil tap. <laughs> And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna do the whole thing live. I think it's gonna be fun. Well, look what just came in. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually going to unbox this right here because then I will take the box over to storage and I won't have to bring it back to the motorhome. And I forgot my pocket knife. This is weird. Why is everything always bigger than it, it looks? Power cable, manual, oh, foot switch, cool, boost, and a uh, effect slip switch. So here it is. It is small. Of course it's bigger than it looks in the picture, but it is small. Pull boost, nice. I've read about that tilt thing, it's pretty cool. Here, let's just go like this. That's what a marshal is supposed to do. Anyway, um, yeah, man. Must have a little solid state game boost in there. I'm guessing what that is. Uh, low, mid, high power switch. And then on the, somewhere is supposed to be a DI out. I don't know where. Oh yeah, down here, all upside down. Cool. I'm gonna get this back to the place, give it a rip, see what happens. Uh, probably won't actually put all of that in today's video because the video will get super long. Um, so you'll probably see a video coming out with this in it, the Marshall Origin 20. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Make sure you check out our live this weekend where we build the telly and make sure you follow us on Instagram, uh, Facebook group, all that kind of stuff. That's all down below and uh, yeah, man. I'm super excited about this. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday.